fiddling update, Danny Boy here. We're back with more transport fever on the modded map. And we're down here at Reykjavik at our iron ore uh, station, or our iron ore plant, or quarry. Uh, in the last episode, we did, we did our Alaskan fuel, our American fuel route. And it seems to be going rather well, even though I do say so myself. I had a quick look around the map and then noticed that down here in Stockholm these were screaming for steel. There's no steel in either of these goods plants, which is kind of stop production, meaning that the Oslo train and the Helsinki train are not really getting much goods. Now they've still got goods stored that they are putting across to the stations, but they're just near well, they are putting it all kind of faster, but it's still, uh, they're going to run out of good soon because there's no steel. These trains are shipping steel down. They are getting steel, but the problem is we need iron ore. Uh, if we click on here, lots of coal, but there's no iron ore. And these poor suckers are hardly getting any steel uh, because there's no, they're not picking up enough iron ore at the Oslo side. See, only six waiting. So if what I did was, I changed this. Everything was running this two lines, but now the fuel trains run on these two, and the iron ore trains run on these two. We originally had three of these. I've now added three more to keep up with the demand. Uh, we're running these uh, gondolas. I think they're actually American. But they're quite good, they hold 12, so there's 10 on out, and that can now change, uh, pick up 120. So this is the first, this is the second, and there's a third in the depot waiting to come out. Now, I should probably add some signals in here so that these guys don't get stuck. So we'll do that. And we'll stick some more up here. And probably another in there. Now these trains didn't interfere with the fuel trains on him out, so that's good. Uh, he's only doing 14. That's not so good. But we really are waiting for new trains to come out so we can upgrade everything. Uh, if we go into here, and here look at trains by age. Here, there's a lot of especially British fuel trains. Uh, the old GWRs, the little tank engines, they are very old. There's also some Russian trains are getting need replaced. And the first steel trains and goods trains we ran from Stockholm to Oslo are also starting to get a bit ancient. But there's not really another train to replace them with, unless I take some uh, train for like another part of the world, for like Austria or something. Or we could run PLMs, but I've been kind of using that as a as a a passenger train. See, like here we've got this train. He's now running with a full load each time, which is good. Uh, we do have the A35s, but we're going to use them quite soon. Probably to go for like London to Paris, Paris to Berlin, uh, Amsterdam to London and round this section here but uh, also what I did was I set all the land hours to replace to uh, post buses so if we go into London it looks like everything's replaced there's a bus there there we go it's now running the post bus uh, that's actually a person on the bus six of eight uh, it's got another stop, so it'll probably have a full load by the time it gets to the train station. Quite a few people waiting here. Uh, I also, what I did was, because I had these routes, uh, these uh, these sort of inner cities, we're using our Ryans for this, because they've got a top speed of 22 miles per hour. Even though it only carries four, it's faster than the post bus by a whole six miles an hour. So we're using these. We had the, we've got the line going from Edinburgh to Cardiff, the bus route. 
We've got a bus route from Cardiff to Dublin. We now have a bus route from Dublin to Amsterdam. We have a bus route from Edinburgh to Oslo. Oslo to Reykjavik. Reykjavik to Stockholm. We could probably get a bus route going up to Helsinki, but I've just not done it yet. Uh, Copenhagen to Vienna. There's buses on there as well. We'll also run buses from Amsterdam to London, London to Paris, Berlin. Uh, we've got buses from Kiev to St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg to Moscow. Uh, these fuel trains and that, they're starting to get a bit old. This has actually started pushing stuff across here a lot faster. This train car is 100. It needs upgraded. Does it need upgraded? Details. 22 years. Hmm, it'll need upgraded soon. I'm not sure if we click on here, buy trains. Fit the life expectancy of this thing is. 35 years, so it's not quite dead just yet. But it's now starting to get 109. So it's picked up a full load already, there's 100 waiting. This is also starting to pick up as well, which I'm happy about. Uh, he's got none. I'm assuming he'll get some soon. So, there was some upgrades that I did uh, offline for like uh, the bus routes and the iron ore. I'm hoping that enough iron ore can be transported to get this back up running at full capacity again. We've got a lot of ships, we just need the iron ore to transport it. This dock needs to be breaming full of iron ore. It's a pity it puts goods in here. Because as soon as it picks up goods, like this has got 100, but if it was to pick up goods, it would take 3 goods and only 50 iron ore. So I'm hoping there's another iron ore train get be coming in soon. There's one there, we are 120. These are all now running 120. This thing will pick up 100, 100. This thing will have picked up 120 very soon, because it's just come out of the depot. But that's everything going there so far. Now hopefully it can create enough steel because we also need slag. Like this slag ship here is probably in it. Ooh, it has got 100. Nice. And this thing's heading in. So that is the plan for that. Now we're getting ahead over here to uh, Gay Paris. And we're getting stuck in station so let's get a train station set up uh, one of these large uh, I need quite a lot of tracks on here so I would say maybe 12 so 8 and 4 in fact let's go 8 and 6 right give it a second street connection uh, spin it round now I need to mark it quite long, so 120 and 400, it likes it, it's not giving me any problems, uh, if I could straighten you up a touch, right you go in there. There we go, it's time to get France connected. Now I wanted to use the sort of new age station that comes out later on. Uh, I'll just have to wait for it to appear. Uh, then I think it comes out to like the year 2000 or something, which is a long, long way off. So we're better off just getting this <coughs> started and on the go. And we can just demolish it and place the station in later. Right, now we need roads, so you come across there, uh, likewise from this side, if you could go into here that would be perfect, and if you could go into there that would be perfect, and then you come across to there, and there, excellent. Now I don't want to demolish one of these buildings, but I'd like a sort of cross section in here so unfortunately they're getting here go 
But Paris has got quite a large population, even though there is nothing running to it as of yet. But we'll get this in. You there. Go around there. Perfect. Now, train, bus stations and tram stations. Let's have a look. Uh, we've still only got the tram station, the one that's in shape of a V. Although I'd like to have it. But we'll place this in here. Electric. Uh, you can go in there. Absolutely perfect. Uh, the town, the buildings I'll build around here. And if I do want to add in the other tr uh, tram station, I'll hit delete everything that the game builds. Which is kind of a pain. But hey ho, such is life. You come out of there. Head to the construction, absolutely is possible. You go to there. Now, let's just bring a road around here in the game. You can decide if it wants to throw in there. Uh, we'll need a good station somewhere. Probably, well, the industry is sort of here. And this road is going to be in the way. Uh, let's see, good stations. Uh, we'll mark it. I'll make it an 8 for the moment. Right, just 8 and 0. Before it gives me any crazy lag. Right, you'll go there, but I need to delete the road. Okay. Looks like we'll have to get some sort of bridge or tunnel system on the go. Right, I'm going to leave you about there. Because I've got a plan. Right, uh, give me this across here and there, perfect. Same on this side. Now, if you could go in there, nice. You can come around to there, nice. Connect that up, do the same possibly at this side. Yes, a road and there and we'll get now like I said in the last episode didn't I really want to use these because it's near really the time for them and I've now actually left a space to get it in hmm it will fit in there if I delete that road okay alright you in there please uh, you are definitely connected to the station. Right, we're going to need a bridge over here. Oh well, I don't actually want to go just yet, but hey ho, it's in. Uh, let's bring you across there, you to there. We'll get a bridge in at the other side as well. Bring this across. Uh, bridge from this side, please. Yes, yes. Just find the path over, please. Ooh, it'll go in like that. That's fine. Should I really change that bridge to one of the sort of new age bridges? Bring it out a bit. In there, please. And you can even come around here, maybe. Okay. Right, let's do a bit of smoothing. At least that's connected up to the city now, so if we want to run buses down to Amsterdam, we can absolutely do that. Right, let's just leave it like that just now and see how the game decides to develop the city. There we go. Right. Paris. Now, tram lines and stuff we're going to need. So let's, uh, give me electric. 
and bring this out. Bring it down to there. Go across there. This could probably be done. We coming up, and then whoa, into there, please. Right now, give me the magic tool. Uh, quite a large section there, there. There, down past all the industrial stuff. It fits under that bridge, which is perfect. That section is done. So give me this section and that. Okay, now we need tram stops. So, passengers again, please. Uh, you go there. Then go along here to there there uh, there up to there and then back in round to that okay right that is the tram stations set up so Paris tram line PAR tram line right and you're gonna go for here to there to there, to there, to there, to there, and then back in. Perfect. Right, let's set up your depots. Uh, road depot. Over there, please. Oh, that's uh, trains. We don't need trains yet. Tram depot, collision. Okay, let's stick it there. Uh, by trams we'll get one two three four five of these set them on a line which will be Paris tram line there they go right just make sure that they are sort of go the same direction one of them is bound to turn right I'm assuming it's gonna be him it was him turn around turn around user I need to go in the same direction right play slow it down again and let's see a look what have we got going on here we need bus stations right so the bus station will take a slightly more internal route uh, let's go How far do we want to stick this bus stations go here and then down there to there come back in here and then go across and then go back up okay right let's add the route go there there here there there is there two stations there please yes right Paris bus P A R bus uh, let's get you some vehicles I believe it's this one post bus one two three four set it on a line Paris bus which is down here somewhere ABCD here we go Paris bus right that's them on the go now the first route we're gonna do is gonna be from Paris to London so basically like the Eurostar train now fit can I come into London we could hear a train coming from Copenhagen and Vienna so let's try and stick this on the third line now we could hear a line coming from Dublin to Paris Amsterdam so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick it right bang in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this thing here, number four, is the middle right. So you're going to be hanging right. That's kind of flat. 
Okay, I don't really want. Do I want that? Ah, we'll live with it. We'll live with it. Right, you need to actually come right a fair bit. So let's keep your speed up. Uh, Alright, you're giving my tunnel there. Let's raise it up a bit. Fuck, let's bring this back. In fact, what are you actually doing? That actually looks okay there. Now, I don't want too much of a... I need to bring you further to the right. And if I could keep you above the land, that would be perfect. I can easily throw a bridge in here. That is not a problem. Alright, so I need you to be... About there. Alright, you're going flat along the land. That's good. Now I need you to come round. Right. So we'll say Vienna, Copenhagen, Paris. Fit side is this actual section of the track. It is the left hand side, okay. Left hand side, nice. Uh, right, now we need to do the right hand side. Uh, smoothing will be required as always. Up through this tunnel. Uh, no other trains are using this track, so that's fine. Uh, let's get, if possible, a set of points without giving me too much slope. I saw something out, not too much slope. Right, far do the points start? Here. Oh no, it doesn't like that. Right, let's try it for this side. Right there. No, it doesn't like that either. Right, let's take a look at the signals. Uh, that's no signals. That is something else. Right, you'll be coming out on this side, but you go in on that side. So if I just delete that. Uh, fire a line in here. And ooh, that looks crap. What to ho it's in. Right, you can now go on there, come on there, okay. We just need to designate your platform. Uh stick some signals in here. Now only one train is gonna be on this at the start. Uh, there's no point running two trains until the line really starts to get going. Bring them down here. We must almost be at the station we are. Right, again, let's just bring one in. And see if it says. If it gives me two, I'll take it. It did. Right, you need to leave the station on this track here there and there right so if i go right go here now this scene on the right hand side for you uh one two three four platform seven so Go on and platform seven, please, and then go up to here. And you're wanting to go and I seen on the left, which it's done, which is platform ten, I believe. Twelve, eleven, ten. Okay, let's lock that in place. 
then you can back out in this line right nice sorted uh, this will be Paris to London uh, we'll go express now the Euro tunnel would normally leave St. face St. Pancreas station in London and head to Paris to I'm not sure I think it's the most uh, northerly station in Paris I cannot remember the name wit I've actually been on the Euro Tunnel before it's quite cool when I was a uh, when I was a small well not really a small child I think I was maybe a teenager but no it was quite interesting. I've always wanted to go drive over in France and take my car over on the Euro Tunnel, but it is a long way, it's a long drive down to London from where I stay, so I've actually driven down to Wales before to Port Talbot to, uh, with one of my friends, he bought a car, I went down with him to pick it up, pick it up and it was a long ass day. It was basically like a day and a half to get down for where we, we live in Scotland and then get back up, down to Wales and back up. And we were supposed, supposed to be taking a turn about for driving, but uh, for some reason he wasn't very confident of driving down south. So I ended up doing most of the driving. Up until we got back into parts of Scotland where he felt more confident driving, so I kind of got screwed over. <laughs> I was so tired as well. But hey ho, it was an experience. Right, I need to throw one of these. Right, give me a nice bridge. Okay, that's nice. Oh, is that the. No, I need this in. Okay. Nice little bridge in there. We'll go and add the train. There we go. Right. Okay, give me a depot. No, near crazy uh, good station. Right, looks like we're on here. If I'll go, which it will. Right, this is going to be our first A3. Uh, if I can find it, it should be down at the bottom. It's quite new. A3 slash 5. Uh, buy one of these. Uh, wagons. It's the 3 axle capacity 14. Okay, that's the fake, even for the fake line. <coughs> Uh, we've also got these GWR top like coach so we could probably use these for something uh, if a new GWR train comes out I'll upgrade one of the previous trains 80 mile an hour top speed that's quite good uh, but we're using these currently so we'll go one two three four five six six seems fine set it on a line Paris to London uh, where is Paris? I've passed it. Paris to London Express. So here we go. Here's our first A3 slash 5. It actually looks as though it's just materialising for this, uh, this wall. <laughs> but there he goes. The maiden voyage across the channel. Even though there is no channel here, we'll uh, just pretend that there is. So we could probably get a bus line going to there as well. Do I want a bus line yet? Nay yet. We could actually stick in a second train, but I'm not sure far to put it. Copenhagen's quite close. We could probably get a train in there from this side down. I'm not sure if I'd take it in here. 
around the back probably in here because there will be a station going in here for fuel once we start transporting crude from up here through the oil rigs to there get it shipped up to there and take it over to here that'll be a thing that will be getting done but let's see a look at this nice 0 of 84 it'll probably take a while for this thing to really get anything going 61 mile an hour top speed though so that's pretty good quite impressed with that but there he goes anyway our first line into Paris now would we do a line to Copenhagen I dare say we should uh, well, give me this bring it out from this side keeping the speed up if possible if we can get it up to 60 there we go 60 Ooh, it's a bit bit of a gouge there right I need to bring it round and then in here let's try and get this side because it's going to give me a tunnel look at that though uh, where's the little blue bit I can almost see it there it is so 68 69 72 that seems okay and we'll still hit to patch the line back in because we'll hit to double track it just in case now I don't think it'll be any goods coming for this side or will there? there might be possibly uh, another tunnel give me one of these ends there we go straight under there and bring it round on the bridge do we need the bridge? yes we do need the bridge apparently no it's going up and uh, you keep it flat now if it's happening with the terrain here tell it okay we do here quite a, an aggressive in fact let's uh, demolish that Let's see if I can pull you down at all. I can. Mm. Actually, it would be as well having a bridge. The bridge would look nicer. If I go for that side. No, it's still the same. Uh, which direction are we actually heading? Over there. Right. Uh, get rid of that. It's slightly better going over that way. Another tunnel. Okay, we'll have one of these ends. <laughs> we'll have one of every kind of tunnel on this route. Right, I don't like that. If you come back a bit, you sort of refrain from going crazy. Right, that bridge is quite flat. So I'll take that. Uh, you into there. No, that didn't go into there, did it? No, it sort of just landed beside it. Alright, into there, please. Alright, there's another line going into Paris. Right, no point smoothing it yet because I need to get uh, this in. Now, if you could pull a line out here 60 that's perfect uh, bring it round here right follow the bridge the bridge is a bit humpty dumpty like but Right, far did you go? You came through here. We're going across there. Okay, okay, go away. I don't need that. You go across there. 
Now this is the tricky part because I need to fold this line into the next line. Or do a no. New plan. We're not going to fold it in. We're going to stick it. Uh oh, it's going on here. Easy game. Enter there. Okay, right. Now let's see a look at the signal in. Uh, if only other trucks want to go that way, they'll be screwed because they're going to get past this tunnel. We can deal with that later though. Right, go out in that track. Go on there. Uh, you go to that side. Can I actually see the signal for there? Why are... Uh... Right, that's weird. And we'll check it down here. Right, you there. And you there. Yes, train goes out on that side. So really, all I need here is one line to sort of bring it in. It's, it's, it's get a lot of it. Yes. Right. Perfect. Get the smooth into the loop since we're here. Smooth you in that side. And the other side of this tunnel will stick in some more signals there and there. Do a bit of smoothing as we go along. Oh, this bit here is going to take a fair bit of smoothing because it's giving me this horrible section here. There we go, it's not too bad actually. <coughs> Well, that bit looks a bit horrible, but I'll just get it smoothed out. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, you over here, you need smoothed. That's it. Bring the terrain up so that it doesn't look so bad. Right, as far as our next set of signals go in, probably before this. You smooth please. Smooth this there. Ah, this is going to take a vast amount of smoothing to sort out this bit. Vast indeed. Okay. I think that's about as good as we're probably going to get for this section at the moment. Alright, uh, let's get a couple of uh, we go. signals in there. Two more on there and one on this side I believe uh, if you'll let me stick it on that side yes you will right now new line uh, let's go this will be Copenhagen to Paris and we'll just say branch branch line there we go right uh, I've just closed that. I uh, needed it to be open. Trains, please. Uh, there's our Atlantic, 7.12 million. Although that's with the running costs, so God knows if they would have actually have been making money in the real world. Right, Paris. Uh, let me see if it line this is 14 you're coming in on. Uh, 14. And then go to. Copenhagen. Yes, that line on the right hand side, which is platform one, let's lock that in. Uh, let's just check the old track there. Yep, 
Everything's heading in the right direction. Nice. Let's get a train. So here's this uh, Paris to London number. Nobody's using it as of yet. Uh, that doesn't surprise me, though. It's really just only started. Right. By trains. Paris is getting its second train. Another A35. By wagons. Uh, three arcs all one, two, three, four, five, six. Set it on a line, it'll be Cope Paris branch line. Uh, would we give this in a colour? Details. Uh, give a, we'll change up its colour, get a dark green. See what that looks like. Looks pretty good actually, we'll stick with that. Uh, you still need to get Omdi on you yet. But that's pretty much, I would say, going to be it for this episode. We shall have a quick look down here and see how the iron ore situation is. Uh, details, still need steel and you're running out of goods. Uh, what? 200 goods for this. Okay, let's amend that. By road vehicles. Uh, can start. Goods. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Set them on a line. Stockholm Goods Road. Right, away they go. Now, up here. Is that iron ore I see at this place? It is. 187. Nay too bad. Uh, we've got a problem. You're stuck. Waiting for a free path. Okay, you need to hurry up, dude. I want you to move so that he can get in to get this thing. 87, ooh, I want it to get 100. Come on, move. Right, it's past the lights, go. Oh no, there's no lights there, okay. Uh, there's no signals even. Now you can go. Alright. See that? Smooth. Smooth operation. <laughs> uh, you just hold your horses there because you're going to get mere steel or more steel quite soon. Alright, you just hold their boat. I'll get you running with a full load. There he is. Nice. And you should get a full load once you've dropped off your steel. We're in a new year though, January. January of 1907 and we've got the RMS Mauritania. Ooh, hold on. Find me a ship depot. Buy ships. Ha! So we've got the RMS Lusitania and the RMS Mauritania. We'll use them in the next episode though. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode I think. If you did actually watch this and you would like to leave a like or comment, please do. And if you'd like to see more if it's happening in the future, then uh, hit the subscribe button. Two passengers on air, nice. But uh, I've been Danny Boy, this has been Transport Fever, and I will catch you later.